Now that we've created our terminal box, let's take a look at creating our terminal cap. Double tap with your finger on the box. Start by creating a circle with a 2.5 mm radius. Apply dimensional constraints by selecting the center point and one of the edges. Tap on the label and define a 4.5 mm distance between both sides. Draw a horizontal line from the midpoint. We need it for mirror. Exit sketch mode and go to the mirror tool. Select the circle, tap next. Tap on the vertical line as a mirror axis, tap done. Repeat this process with the horizontal line as the mirror axis. Go to a 3D view by swiping upwards with your fingers. Select all circles and use the arrow to subtract. Open items and reorganize your bodies. Swipe the terminal box's bracket and rename it. Move the leftover fin parts to their designated folder. Now we can extrude the cap. Select the top face and select the Extrude tool from the left menu. Use the arrow to drag it upwards 3 mm. Tap on the small badge above it and switch it to New Body. Use this badge to create quick booleans or separate bodies in Extrude. Go to Items and rename the body to Terminal Cap. Select all the holes of the terminal cap. Make them 0.5 mm wider. We need this small adjustment for the screws. Now, hide the cap in items as we need to hollow out the box. Hide the sketches on the top as well. Close items. Select the top face and tap on Shell in the left menu. Use the arrow or label to define the wall thickness. Set it to 2 mm. Tap on the grid or the Deselect All icon. Now, let's color the box red in Tools slash Colors. Great. Let's unhide the cap and we're ready. In the next video, we'll take a little detour to look at how section views work.